Hey, Peter, and hey. all the viewers, too. Come on in. Thank you. Greg Barone from United Home Audio, thank you for your hospitality today. Sure, my pleasure. Come on in. So, this is a new listening studio here. Yes, uh, this is a new studio featuring MBL gear, also uh, clear audio turntables, aesthetics, phono preamps, Hegel uh, CD player, running the uh, MBL 116F speakers. Okay, great. Can you give us a close look at the components, please? Sure, let's start with the turntable. This is a clear audio innovation turntable. The platter floats in a magnetic field, so you get nice isolation. Um, it has a Helios Omega tone arm on it, also a DaVinci, Clear Audio DaVinci cartridge. Um, these are feet that I had made from brass. It usually has just a small uh, spike on the end, but uh, these add a lot of you know, weight down low which uh, sounds real good on the turntable. And from the turntable, we are going to the Aesthetics Rhea. Um, this is a signature version, uh, very flexible phone preamp. You can uh, have three arms connected to, or to it if you want. Um, even has a DMAG feature. Uh, everything is adjustable from the remote control, the, the gain, the loading, you know, the whole, the whole shoot match. Very, very flexible, all tube uh, device. And I'm also running a Hegel uh, CD player for fun. Uh, the preamp is the MBL 5011. Uh, just been discontinued, but certainly a wonderful piece. Very nice sounding preamp, especially for the money. So, uh, Amplification are two MBL monoblocks and 907s. Um, really a nice, very nice amplifiers. And we're running the MBL 116F speakers, which are a four way speaker, two eight inch woofers uh, down below, two five and a half inch mid bass woofers. The legendary MBL Radial Strahler mid-range driver and the Radial Strahler tweeter. Um, this is a hybrid design. Um, you're, you're firing bass kind of omnidirectionally like that. Certainly these uh, Radial Strahlers are not only firing in 360 degrees, but they are an, an orb and they are actually firing in all of these directions simultaneously, which gives you a big room filling sound. Um, the thing I, thing I like about these in, this, in the great room here with the high ceilings and, is that they really throw a lot of sound into the room and it's, uh, it's pretty exciting. Um, really like these speakers. I think in the in the MBL Radial Strahler lineup, this is probably a sweet spot at about 32,000. Um, certainly a, a lot of speaker for the money. Well, I've had a pair in my listening room uh, several years ago. They're uh, easier to drive than, uh, yeah, yeah. than the 101s, and they, uh, they're they smaller and more compact, but they give you the same huge sound. Yeah. Because effectively, the mid-range and the tweeter are the same elements on yeah. the 101. Yep. Yeah, it's very cool. Well, speaking of music, can we listen real quick before we go downstairs to the big rig? Sure. Let's okay, do let's do that. Here we go, viewers. Let's do a little quick listen.
that's a great system, Greg. The 116s really do fill the room. It's a very, very smooth, uh, enveloping sound. There's a real sense of space in this room. I see what you're saying about the cathedral ceilings with how these speakers work so well with that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a real pleasure to have these uh, speakers in here. I also have the smaller 126s, and they certainly sound great in the room as well. Any MBL speaker sounds great in my book. <laughs> uh, well, that's great, Greg. Let's move on to the big system. Uh, the viewers and I are here today to uh, see the tape decks, to, to see what you've done in the big room. So uh, can we go downstairs? Yeah, absolutely. Let's okay. go. Okay, here we go. Okay, we're down in the big room. Greg, show us uh, what you've done here. There's been many changes to this room. I'll tell you, we can just look here and pan the room before you show us what's new. And that rack over there is striking. It's beautiful. And there's additions to the main system here. Why don't we start with the main system? Sure. Let's. Uh, the newest addition over here is the are the new uh, SVS subwoofers um, adjacent to the MBL. 101 EMK2 speakers. Let me say first of all, you don't need a subwoofer with MBL, but when you're pushing the envelope, you got to push the envelope. And so try new things. And these uh, SVS subs, I thought were kind of an interesting product as I saw them at, at the audio show. 16 inch woofers with an 8 inch voice coil. And they're made fairly robust. Uh, I'm not sure what this material is, but it's it's pretty strong stuff. And you can see the uh, it's got a lot of travel room here with this uh, with this surround. Mm -hmm. Very adjustable. Um, you can adjust everything on them. You name it. Um, and also, you can do it right from a remote control from the subwoofer or an app for your uh, smartphone, mm -hmm. which is actually really cool because you can sit at your seat and adjust uh, for each album, uh, you know, each song, whatever. As you noticed last night when we were listening, uh, Peter, you know, when you play uh, that last little bit of, of bass definition on some, some classic rock tunes, it gets pretty exciting. Um, so a lot of fun with these. I also set them on um, Shunmuk footers and I have some Shunmuk devices on the top as well. By putting them on the Shunmuk footers it got rid of um, a, a lot of that puffiness that you can get off of a subwoofer. I noticed that when I put them up on there it, it, it definitely changed that. So uh, the subs themselves have a 1500 watt uh, amp in them, peaks at like, I don't know, four or five thousand watts, uh, pretty nice. The MBL 101 EMK2 speakers, what can you say about them? Uh, pretty iconic. Um, this is actually a woofer. A lot of people think this is a mid-range, but it's actually a woofer. Plays down to a hundred, and like, uh, uh, all of the MBL radial stroller drivers, they're not only firing in 360, but they're firing also like an orb, so you're getting dense sound field into your room. Uh, same with the mid-range and the tweeter section. Down below is a, a subwoofer, plays 100 down, does a very nice job of that. Something new is uh, the new amp stands for the MBL 9008 amps, big monster amps. Each amp requires two power cords for crying out loud. Can't get enough juice with one, go to two. <laughs> there you go. Yep. He's not kidding. Two power cords, viewers. And uh, the amp stands are uh, made by Adana. Uh, I think they do, do a pretty nice job on them. They match the, uh, the, the main rack. Uh, they have granite on the bottom and uh, then a wood on the top or you can reverse it. I like it with the wood up myself. Mm -hmm. um, very stable uh, amp stands, certainly. And uh, then we move on to the new rack system 
which this is, is just beautiful. I don't know how else to put it. This so, was quite a, uh, a step up from what I had previously because, like most audiophiles, if you have a rack between uh, your speakers or up against a wall, now you're crawling behind there trying to uh, connect and disconnect and uh, you know set your cables up so that they're they're proper proper back there. The nice thing about this is that I can just walk around behind the system and have six feet back here where I can plug and unplug. Makes it very easy. I also set this rack up so that I could have three tape decks um, with outboard power supplies because I have to do a lot of testing uh, on this uh, equipment before it go goes out to customers. There's a couple of decks getting ready to go out to customers, gold plated, black and gold. Uh, this one over here is a little bit different because it's, it's black and, and gold, but the black is, um, he, the customer wanted a matte finish instead of a gloss, so a little bit different look. And then my typical white demo deck in the middle. Um, what I did over here on the main system was I, this is a, uh, Albert Power Supply has two big toroidal power transformers in there and they're firing electromagnetic fields. So I took these shelves off and lined the underside of this shelf and this shelf with mu metal so that the, there is no magnetic field or very little magnetic field possible to transmit between here and the tape deck or the outboard power supply and this MBL 6010 preamp. So the, everything is completely isolated in here. And the MBL 6010 preamp is just a great preamp. I mean, since I'm running subwoofers, I have another bank of outputs that I can turn on or turn off, not to mention complete right and left gain control on each of the one, two different outputs. Extremely flexible. So you get a main volume control, but you also have gain control on each uh, right and left of the two output banks. Makes it great. And I see here uh, right in front of us viewers, uh, we can show it here camera will focus in. These are Shunmuk? Yeah, these are Shunmuk devices and they basically they basically define the room if you're looking. Uh, what I wanted to do was get the rack out of the sound stage, which I did, but the Shunmuk on both sides of the room as well as front and back, they define the square of the room basically. And uh, these are the um, triple height. You have one at 72 inches. You have one down here about 48. And then one down at the floor level to define the parameters of the room. Mm -hmm. Well, they're very effective. We had an outstanding listening session last night. We capped the night with the Proco Harem tape. And it was as if I was at a concert. It was like, that's what MBLs do. And with the added low frequency support from the subs, it was awesome. Just awesome. Yeah, nothing like playing rock music on an MBL system with a little low end punch at the, <laughs> on the subwoofer. It's totally it, cool. It gets pretty exciting. Speaking of that, uh, let's, uh, let's move on and do a little bit of listening. Can we do that? Sure. Okay, let's play some Dead Can Dance, okay? Will do. Okay, here we go, viewers. I thought that you had it 
Brendan Perry was in the room with us. This has an organic, bigger than life. It's like you're, you are at a concert. This, as I've said years ago, it is your own personal concert. I want to thank you again for having us in uh, to do the tour today and to do the System in a Video uh, Report. It's always great to have you here and uh, you know it's of course wonderful to have a system like this in your home. It's like having a uh, Formula One race car in your basement and a Nurburgring to drive it on. And uh, you never have to worry about door dings. <laughs> <laughs> well thank you very much Greg Rome from United Home Audio. Thank you Peter. Thank you.